Buenos días amigos de Andrés Sergio Uruguay OC. Bueno, aquí estamos de nuevo con las hermosas Panram Ninja DR4 3000 MFR. Son single side. La ventaja que tiene el MFR es que va muchísimo eh, en alta frecuencia, es decir, eh, levanta muchos megahertz. Para apretar los timings eh, se complica un poco, hay que levantar mucho voltaje, hay que darle 1.65 a 1.7 y eso no es digo, de mi gusto personalmente. Acá las tenemos. Bueno, les cuento, la idea es, ahora voy a hablar en inglés, porque quiero hacérselos a mis amigos de Panram así que aquellos que entiendan eh, bárbaro y si no les voy a contar igual tienen el otro video que filmé en, en español si no lo haré de nuevo no tengo ningún problema en hacerlo otra vez en español ok my friends this video is uh, dedicated for Panram for my friends there and I want to explain my experience with this memory Uh, so far I find, found them amazing because I could reach uh, 3400 MHz on them on CAS 16 using 1.42 uh, volts, no more than that. Well, I want to explain that as you can see there, let's, let's move the camera to my LCD. You can see that I have a 5960 Uh, Intel processor, uh, 8 core, uh, 16 threads, and it's at 4650 megahertz with memory at rated uh, XMP. First of all, this is a golden chip. It's not that I want to show off, but it's a golden one. You can reach uh, 4900 and you just uh, need an IO, nothing special. So it runs very nice look at here you can see the, the voltage it's very low it's 1.355 any other chip would take for much less than that 1.45 or so so heat is impossible at, the, at that well mm, my experience is that uh, the pan ramps went straight to 3400 uh, megahertz uh, As I told you, not passing 1.4 voltage. Over that, on voltage, they collapse. This uh, is not a thing that uh, is the memory that is bad or something. It's me that I don't want to push my IMC on the chip because it's a golden one. It's very expensive, so I, I try to keep it as low as possible. But uh, they did really great at that uh, frequency. One thing that my, my chip don't like is Titan teamings. Uh, you know that IMC varies but the, it loves to go higher on megahertz which I prefer, I love that. And I also can overclock the cache as you can see there the cache frequency. Yes, let's move there. And also not using CPU strap as normal. I am using 125 not 100 and this is because memory overclocks very well and much better on this strap this is I recommend for everyone who is who is using DDR4 and MFR this, these modules the, the pan ramps are uh, Hynix MFR so they are very very good ICs to go high so my chip is very nice but As I told you, I tend to not to push it so badly. Uh, I can, sorry for the sirens, I can go there, you know, it's at uh, 4650 and I can increase perfectly here. I can go 3268 and I can go here and touch the bolts a little bit it's very impo important guys that you um, adjust the system Asian voltage and thing is that we achieve this overclock which is very nice you know, for for the, the voltage you, we, we are using you know 
and it's very stable you can run you can run the super pie here uh, let's do a, a two so it's a good go you know that if if memory is ain't stable it will collapse instant you know? so it just passes perfectly I also run this on the uh, uh, 3350 so it passes perfect so let's go up and go up on the BIOS, BIOS again again guys because I don't really have uh, two kits would be nice to have a, a 8 per 4 so I can show you and but I don't have them. okay we are in the BIOS now so I told you we were 3-3 three, three. let's go for this okay 3,351 and let's increase a bit the ouch 1.5 you know guys, guys that you have the DRAM uh, voltage and also you have the eventual voltage so meaning that uh, eventual voltage you will boot uh, on more voltage if you want that uh, one enters the system so that that is here on the on the DRAM control teamings let me show you there I better not touch this I would recommend you the same here you have eventual when you have troubles starting RAM you can push up like for example I say okay boot with 1.5 if you can boot with with what I put in so when it goes straight to BIOS and the OS the operating system it put the bolts that are on the other side meaning here the bolts we are actually using here okay let's try again now we're going with 3351 brace it here okay let's go boom so as you can see, this time it didn't reboot, so uh, she liked the teamings. So it's, let's see, oh, one baby, okay. Well, we are on Windows 10 at 3,351. Sorry, it takes me time to pr pronounce the numbers. <laughs> it's my lack of experience of repeating all the time the numbers. But uh, I, I think I speak good English. <laughs> Don't laugh at this, please. Okay. As I told you, it takes a uh, some time to recognize the SPD. This is not fixed by CPU ID now, but I think this is normal. Well, here we are. 3,351. Let's go ahead. There. Let's grab another, well, super buy again. Yeah, we'll put some over here. Let's go run at four. You know that if it's not stable, you will get an instant reboot or not square around or failing or whatever. Now it's totally normal. Okay guys, 
you have K those I I have um, as I told you we are on 3350 350 at C cast 16 which is very impressive and uh, I love this RAM really it's very smooth to work with it and uh, nothing wrong with any teamings and, and nothing uh, due to my it's not my not lack of experience I know that if I push this chip the IMC I will get 3500 or 3600 I will try but I will in, I will loosen the teamings you know uh, just in case because I don't want really to punish this beautiful uh, chip nor the RAM also but well it's what I have so I have to take care especially here in Latin America which is things are very 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 expensive I hope you like the video if you like it well just comment or something um, and for my friends at Panorama, thank you very much and I expect uh, being at uh, chips over 3000 to uh, make my record that is 3500 uh, well you can see there that it recovers again perfectly so okay guys hope you like it and have fun watching the video bye bye